Drink milk for strong bones. We've all heard this phrase, and it's one of the strongest nutrition beliefs there is. But is it true? Does drinking milk give us strong bones? And if not, who came up with this saying and why? And it begs the question, how do we build strong bones? Did you know that Milk for Strong Bones was a government-backed marketing campaign in the 1950s to increase the sale of surplus milk supplies that resulted from oversubsidization? And what a successful campaign it was, because decades later, that line, Milk for Strong Bones, seems to have been burned into our consciousness to the point that many people think that their bones will crumble if they don't drink milk. But the reality is that our earliest human ancestors, and even hunter-gatherers, didn't drink milk beyond infancy. When you think about it, it would have been extremely difficult to milk a wild animal. Now, a mother's milk has just the right mix of nutrients and other growth factors to support the rapid development of the infant in the first months of life. But teeth come in for a reason, and the infant starts to require more nutrition than milk alone can provide. And so they learn how to chew and wean onto solid foods, and that's the case for all mammals. Breastfeeding is designed to be short-term. In fact, humans are the only species that have trained themselves to drink breast milk for life and from another species, mind you, but that's another story. Let's get back to the campaign of Milk for Strong Bones. The campaign was playing on the fact that milk is high in calcium, and so too are bones. Bones have a lot of calcium in them. But just because milk and bones are both calcium rich doesn't prove that drinking milk leads to strong bones. And in fact, when we look at the studies, we find that cultures that drink the most milk actually have the weakest bones because they have higher rates of bone fractures than cultures that don't drink milk into adult adulthood. What did you say? Building strong bones requires more than just calcium. We need other minerals like phosphorus, magnesium, and not forgetting vitamins like vitamin D, without which we can't absorb calcium from the gut and balance our calcium levels in the body. And vitamin K is also critical to building strong bones. Without vitamin K, the calcium we do absorb can't actually get into the bones, and it ends up depositing in our soft tissues, such as our arteries, and calcifying them. And hardened arteries is not a good thing. And even when vitamin C is involved, we need vitamin C to make collagen and build a strong bone matrix. And the fact is that milk, although it's super high in calcium and a good source of phosphorus, it isn't a particularly good source for most of these other mission-critical bone nutrients. Now, unfortunately, dairy foods, particularly pasteurized cow's milk, is not very well tolerated by a large portion of the population, and it can lead to allergic reactions that can range from digestive problems like stomach aches, vomiting, and diarrhea, to skin issues like acne, eczema, and other symptoms like hay fever, so many people find that they just do better when they exclude dairy products from their diet. And if you're one of those people, you don't have to worry that you won't be getting enough calcium, as long as you include plenty of other calcium-rich foods in your diet, like nuts and seeds, for example. Gram for gram, almonds have twice the calcium, and sesame seeds have more than eight times the calcium of milk. Beans and pulses are also rich in calcium, as are most dark green leafy vegetables, like kale, for example, which has comparable amounts of calcium to milk, but also happens to be loaded with those other nutrients that are needed for strong bones, like magnesium, vitamin K, and vitamin C. I mean, after all, how do cows build strong bones? They eat lots of green grass. Now, in addition to good nutrition, there are two other things that are perhaps the most important of all factors for building strong bones. The first is sunshine. We know that vitamin D deficiency leads to weak bones, and the best way to get vitamin D is by exposing our skin to the rays of the sun. And when that occurs for long enough, the cholesterol in our skin is converted to vitamin D, which then allows us to absorb the calcium from our food. But there is a catch. The sun has to be high enough in the sky for the conversion from cholesterol to vitamin D to occur. So in certain countries, during the winter months, it's almost impossible to make enough vitamin D, which is why it's recommended to take a vitamin D supplement during this time. But a good rule of thumb to tell whether or not you can make sufficient vitamin D from the sun where you live is by looking at your shadow. If your shadow is longer than you are tall, then you're not going to be able to make enough vitamin D, even if you lived outdoors all day long wearing nothing but a loincloth. So you might consider taking a supplement until the days get longer and the sun gets higher in the sky. Now, another thing to consider is the color of your skin. 
It can take up to six times longer in the sun to produce the same amount of vitamin D, depending on how dark your skin is. So it could be a good idea to get your vitamin D levels checked to give yourself the best shot of building strong bones. And last but not least, and this has nothing to do with nutrition, strong bones can't be built without exercise. Bones are a living tissue that requires stimulation, impact, and pressure in order to grow strong. Just like our muscles, it's a case of use it or lose it. So it's weight-bearing exercise or resistance exercise that make our bones strong. Weight-bearing exercise forces you to work against gravity. And it doesn't mean it has to occur in the gym using weights. We're also talking about walking, jogging, jumping, climbing stairs, playing tennis and dancing. All these types of movement and exercise are helpful to keep your bones strong into old age. If you found this interesting, we have a whole load of other content on this channel covering all things natural health. Why not check it out? And remember to subscribe to the channel and tick that bell icon. See you next time.